So we're gonna open up our level and name it something very uh, creative, let's say. Uh, the song we're gonna pick, uh, we're gonna go with an extruder song just because that's very commonly used. Don't worry about creating lines. All that does is help with sync and sync doesn't really matter to be honest. We're gonna pick some colors. We're just gonna go with just some red and uh, really not gonna be that creative here. We'll just copy the background color and basically move it to every single thing in the entire level. We'll pick a very generic background and a very generic ground and let's test it. Okay, so it's a very good start. In order for it to get featured, you need something in the level. So we're gonna add some blocks. The theme I think I'm going for here is red and black, or just really just black in one color. We're not gonna get too creative with colors because being creative is hard and we're not really trying to do something hard, we're just trying to get our levels featured. So we're just gonna be copying spikes, copying blocks, really just copying everything just so we can get even just a husk of a level out. As long as it's something, it'll get featured, really. If you play Geometry Dash, you're probably really impatient. So we want to get to the drop of the song as quick as possible. In this case, I'm using an offset timer as well as the fade in trigger to help that. You don't actually have to start the song on a correct beat or really anywhere in specific. As long as it's close to the drop, you can use fade in and it works perfectly. <laughs> Every feature level has one kind of unique thing that lets it stick out from the rest, just enough for you to get noticed. Not enough to be good, but just enough to get noticed. In this case, we're using these gears with this red and black coloring, which I think looks kind of cool. Really just spam the crap out of these, that's all you need to make a good level. Okay, so after playing through the level, I realized I forgot the custom background, which is the most essential part of any featured level. All you really need to do for this is make some ramps and kind of just have them move in the background, make them a very low opacity and just have them move. I'm also getting pretty bored of making a cube part, so we're just gonna copy and paste. Okay, so if you notice there, after I hit the yellow jump pad, the sync doesn't really match up to anything next. Like I couldn't put a ship portal there just yet because it doesn't go with the music. Rather than fixing this by building more, you can be lazy and put blue jump pads to the very end to carry it out to the next part. Okay, so we're gonna do the ship part next and I think I'm gonna get a little creative for this one. I'm just kidding. Copy and paste the cube part and paste it on the top and bottom of the screen. Make sure to move the gears so the level is only two or three stars difficulty. This will ensure that not only will your level get featured, but it will also get daily. Change the colors so it looks like we did something. We'll add that cliche Mario font and put our nickname at the very end of it just so we know whose level it is. Of course, don't forget the custom background. Maybe just use a different material. You really don't have to alternate anything else. You're also gonna wanna use the same pattern that every featured level does. That is ship, then halfway through the level, you turn it upside down, and then once the beat changes again, you go to UFO, and then you go upside down again. Shifts and UFOs are pretty much the same game mode, so you can literally just copy and paste everything from the last game mode and do a little bit of alterations just so it looks a little bit different. We'll add a ton of blue jump pads just so we can get to the end of this part as well. And of course, since this is going into the drop, the next part has to be a three times wave mode. So I'm cutting to after I built this wave part just because it took me over eight hours to build this and some of the footage got corrupted. I had a lot of issues getting creative and the best thing I came up with was just sort of this checkerboard design between two of the most generic blocks in the game. One of the techniques I found that works the best when creating featured levels like this is to use the move trigger obsessively. The more you use it, the more work it looks like you've done. Really, as you can see, all I have here is just a ton of ramps, but if I make them move, it makes it look like I did a lot of work on this level. Okay, so finishing touches here, we're just gonna add a ton of random arrows. Really does not have to point to where you're actually going in the level, they just have to point. As long as they're arrows, you'll be doing fine. Now for the coins. The first coin will put five seconds into the level, only reachable by a hidden jump orb. You can either make the jump orb completely hidden so that no one has any idea how to get to the coin, or you can put a question mark there so that everybody has an idea of how to get to the coin. Okay, so to unlock the second coin, you'll need to collect four keys randomly strewn throughout the ship and UFO part, and only then can you collect the coin. This is gonna be a two to three star level anyway, so the keys don't really need to be that hard to get. Final coin will put on the wave part just an alternate path in order to get it. This is extremely easy to do, and it's a pretty generic coin that everybody's expecting. I spent 30 minutes Googling how to use the create lines button, and I finally figured it out. You can use this to sync levels. So for this, we're going to use just very basic sync, in which case all we're gonna do is background flashes. So then get all these lines in and then put a background flash every single beat. And our level's done. Let's admire our work, shall we?
It's only short? I can't get my level featured if it's short. My masterpiece is completed.